Uh, welcome back. Uh, now we'll do a practice example on data interpretation questions. So here is an example with pie charts. Uh, let's get started. So here, the first thing to do with the data interpretation questions is to see what the graph is representing, in this case, the pie chart. So here we have number of units of smartphones sold in US in 2013, okay? We have a pie chart with one, two, three, four, five, five fractions. Each fraction is represents either a percent, like in this case, Apple 62%, or an absolute number, in this case, with Motorola 9 million. Okay, so, so it's a mixture of data. Uh, some places it's percent, some places it's a absolute numbers. But anyways, it tells you how many of a particular brand uh, of smartphone was sold in US in 2013. Cool. Let's then go to the first question. Alrighty, the first one. What was the total number of smartphones sold in US in 2013? Okay, so they were asking for the total number of smartphones that were sold. There are lots of um numbers here big numbers here um so let's see how can we tackle this question so the question is asking for total numbers so it's an absolute number so you have to to tackle this you need an absolute number and the absolute number at only place that you see here is motorola being nine million okay all right so let's write that down that motorola uh sold nine million Sorry, I didn't spell Motorola right, but that's fine. Uh, okay, now what I need to know here is what fraction of total smartphone sales uh, does this 9 million represent, right? So I can look at the percent for everything else. So Apple is like 62%, uh, Samsung is 21%, others are 2%, and then LG, which is kind of hard to see here. Let me write it down here. LG is 5%, okay? So LG is 5%, right? So if I do a total of this, um, this is 62 and 21 would be 83, 83 and 285, 85 and 590. So this is about 90%, right? So then the remaining 10% is what uh, Motorola presents, right? That's 10%. Okay, so now I need to, I have this conversion of number to percent and then I just need to find what 100% percent. So this is going back to uh, percentage concept, right? So I can set up an equation like this that if 9 million is 10% and another way to write 10% is 0.1, then what is 100% which I'm representing by x and another way to write 100% is just 1, right? Uh, okay, so then 9 million divided by 0.1 will just give me 90 million equals x okay so i hope that everyone is pretty fluent with doing percentages at this point if you are not then you should go back to the percentage lesson and see how to uh, use this information to calculate 100 percent in general i would recommend that you don't go setting up equations when a simple percentage like 10 percent is involved if 10 percent of something is 9 million 100 percent is just 10 times which is 90 million right so so those those calculations should run really fast in your head Okay, so that's the first question. Let's go to the second one. Uh, the second one says approximately what is the ratio of number of Apple smartphones to Samsung smartphones sold in the US? So Apple to Samsung ratio, right? So as you can see here, the data interpretation can become a mixture of all the different concepts. We just did a percent problem and now we're doing a ratio problem, right? So it's kind of a, kind, kind of a synthesis of all the other concepts that you have learned at this point. So Apple, I can just, if I assume 100 smartphones were sold, then 62 of those have are Apple, right? And uh, Samsung is 21%, so Samsung is 21. So if I just do the math here, this comes out to be about three, close to three something. So it's, the ratio is about three to one, right? So that's D here. Also on one, the answer was C just in case you're wondering. Okay, so that's two questions done. Let's go to number three. All right, number three says, John replaced his old smartphone for a new one in 2013. What is the probability that the phone he bought is neither made by Apple nor by Samsung? So you want to find probability that the phone was not Apple 
or Samsung, which I'm going to shorten SG. So one way to find this is to subtract the probability that the phone was Apple or Samsung from one, right? So that probability, if I assume 100 phones were sold, I know Apple would be 62 of those and Samsung would be 21. Okay, so one minus uh, this sum is about 16, 20, 80, 83 over 100. So one minus 0.83 and this comes out to be 0.17, right? So the probability is neither Apple or Samsung in percent terms would be C, 17%. All right, again, uh, a probability question and data interpretation. So you can expect these a lot. Okay, let's do the last one here. If the number of Apple smartphones sold in 2013 was 23% higher than the number sold in 2012, approximately how many Apple smartphones were sold in 2012? Okay, uh, so this is all about Apple smartphones. And in 2013, for which we have data given in the pie chart, we know that 62% uh, were Apple. And I know from question one that this 62% is of the total number of cell phones is 90 million, right? So 62% of 90 million. All right. So if I do a quick calc here, and this is since 62% is not a good number to deal with, I'll just use a calculator here. So I want to find 62% of 90 million. So that comes out to be about 55.8 million phones. So in 2013, 55.8 million were sold. And this is actually 23% more than 2012, right? So in fact, if I set up a equation here, this 55.8 million represents 123%, right? And my question is the number that was sold in 2012, which I'm going to say X, which is 100%, right? So this is interesting. Your 2012 amount, I'm saying it's 100%. And the 2013 amount is 123%. That's 23%, right? All right. So you can change the percents to decimals. So 123% becomes 1.23. 100 just becomes 1. And if I do this division, it comes out to be about 45.4 million which rounds up to 45 million okay so the answer is a here all right so i hope this question gave you a quick insight of how pie charts are used to test and how all the other questions all the other concepts get involved in data interpretation questions cool uh, next time we'll do a more complex example of data interpretation graphs. Cool. Uh, until then, bye-bye.